Welcome back. Let's continue playing some 10 minute Shogi Wars. Perhaps this time I'll try some different strategies. Um, I guess the most basic alternate strategy we could go or select would be to switch from Swinging Rook to Static Rook. Um, at least until I come up with something more creative to try. But if that doesn't motivate me to try something else, I don't know what will. So, yeah, I think I'd want to see how many castles, avatars, etc. I can collect at this point. Because um, as exciting as reaching one down may be, there's other things to do. Good luck. All right, go to, here we go. Boom. Gotcha. All right. It's not something I play every day. Um... Now that said, this also is kind of similar to stuff I've played in the past. Um, the difference here... I don't know, man. There's so much I don't know about this. Um, yeah, so... Uh, let's just play it, see where this goes. All right, do we push both pawns here? Like, I have no idea what I'm doing, so that makes this quite exciting. Um, I can't exactly push that, because bishop takes. If I push here, yeah, this bishop's pinned, but that doesn't mean a whole lot. Yeah, I'm confused. So I've always... Played, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is a unique strategy. That much is certain. Whoa, wow. Okay. How much trouble am I in for playing this strange thing? I wonder. I tried to play Static Rook, and look where we ended up. Alright, we're going to play the King over. Uh, I don't know what this is called. But maybe it's a thing. Whatever I've done seems tremendously reckless. Um, but maybe that's just because I'm the one doing it. All right, so this other silver wants to participate in the game. Okay, that makes sense. What am I supposed to do about that? I think this is what I'm supposed to do. Oh, well, okay, this is not going how I envisioned, because both pieces are attacking this square. I'm just kind of blind at the moment. Oh, well, okay, now this kind of works. <laughs> this is what I saw. Uh, it doesn't make it right. Huh. Well, what now? A strong, powerful king. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to change the board perspective. Let me change this for uh, everyone's benefit. Sorry about that. I'm so preoccupied. Um, but now I'm focused. And now we all can focus on this game. Communication. Uh, I'm not sure what the second word is, but it's something like error. So, yeah... It's possible I may win this by default. Because... Oh, communication disorder. I see. Victory by communication loss. Okay. Um, that went very quickly. 
let's analyze this. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there was a terrific blind spot toward the end of this game, where if my opponent had not done pawn placement or taking or whatever as they had exactly done it, their position would have been quite nice. Oh, apparently if the opponent disconnects, you're not able to analyze the game either. Alright, let's play another game. I wonder if that counts towards, like, I don't think that counts towards my rating or rank. I wonder if that counts towards my game limit. Good luck. Okay, we have sent a... Let's push. <laughs> they probably see that I play swinging rook openings, and they see me doing this, they're like, oh, wait, wait. They're waiting for me to push something else. Okay, we got them thinking. <laughs> uh, hmm. Interesting. All right. Can you, oh, okay. If there are multiple communication disorders this morning, I think I'm just going to, uh, well, it still doesn't bode well, but, um, right. We have to take this one step at a time somehow. I actually forget this line. That's not a good thing that I've forgotten it already. Um, can I push this, I wonder? Am I venturing somewhere into, like, the duck leg strategy, perhaps? I don't remember. Alright, so my bishop could hit the center pawn very easily. Um... Hmm. We are in no man's land. We are very firmly in no man's land. Right, so... Free pawn! Nothing ever goes wrong when you take free pawns. Um... Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. It's fun. Ish. Alright, they're attacking my bishop's head. Which makes sense. Wait, can I do this? Just how bad is this idea? Alright, they're going to hit my rook soon enough. So I take the 5-5 five, five square. Hmm. Oh, I'm proposing a rook exchange. That's what I'm doing. I knew that. All right. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, this is dangerous. Wow. Um, hmm. All right, so they cut off my rook from this rook exchange proposal. I didn't... I really didn't think they would do that. Uh, but they've done it now, so now I have to deal with the consequences of this. Um, consequences are that my rook should not be up there. It's dangerous for my rook to be so close. Um... Let's put our king back into the castle. <laughs> uh, we've taken the long path, but our king's okay now. Right. 
so no idea what's going on. Hmm. We have two pawns in here. Nothing. Seemingly two pawns in hand is not what I need right now. All right, here we go. We're playing with fire today. Um, yeah, so some may call that a reckless sacrifice, and maybe it is. Um, but I think it's okay. Oh, interesting. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, that king is so safe. Alright, this is a unique strategy. Alright, so... I don't know what I'm doing, but it's exciting. Um... Go for me. Mm, that's not good. This is what I was aiming for, by the way, this, uh, getting the lance in hand. So, I think a lance is exactly what I need in this position, since there's a knight and a king to be targeted. Mm-hmm. There is some method to this madness, but there is certainly madness in this method. Um. I debated dropping this one pawn, uh, one square closer, but that actually would not help me. This is exactly where the pawn's needed. Next up is a lance drop right on the rook's head, and they can't interpose a pawn, so... Yeah, that's going to be awkward for them to meet.
Yeah, finally they attack my vulnerable point. I should have taken the center pawn. It's not thinking. Rather, I was only thinking about offense. Um, so there was some thinking, it's just not correct thinking. Yeah, this could hurt a lot. Um, it's not where I wanted to put a knight. Interesting. Didn't think they'd do that. Alright, I guess we'll just take this. Sampun. So many unexpected moves today. Let's check. All right, they want a rook exchange, apparently. It makes sense. That work exchange does help them in some way. I'm threatening checkmate. Probably my king is checkmated already. But I am threatening checkmate. I would slow down and try to read these positions, except um, the clock disallows thinking too long. Our mic is on. Good. So I'm just playing by intuition. Thanks for the game. Alright, let's play one more. Good luck. Yeah, I'm being a bit obstinate here in trying things that I've not tried before. Um, is this playable? Let's find out. <laughs> How bad could it be? <laughs> All right. Um, wait, so can I try one of those cool things that all the pros have been doing? Or like do the rapid Yagra thing and pay super close attention to what it is your opponent's doing. Basically, don't do this unless you know you can get away with it. Um, all right, we did the rapid Yagra thing. That was cool. Wait, where's my castle avatar? All right, we want to bring this gold up, and I don't know. There we go. Wait, 
Gagger, you're supposed to put the silver up front. Oops. Wait, but no, then this is the subject of some recent discussion that you could put the bishop back here and use the silver this oh. There's a flaw. There is a flaw here. Um yeah, I just let them do that. That's cool. Uh right. Hey, we built it. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Alright, so and then you like bring this pawn up and the bishop out this way or something. I don't remember. Um looks fun. Yeah, you're right. You have to use the silver if you're building Yagara Castle. Um, so... Then, yeah, we bring this up and over, and it's supposed to be, like, super effective or something, but we also need to use the silver and tech. Oh, I dropped this pawn. They didn't even take it. Alright, well, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, so then we like push this thing and then we push this one. Is that how this goes? I don't remember. And then now our silver climbs up this way. And now we have some kind of cool move. Maybe. Ah, oh, this has been so speculative. Um,. They have a pawn in hand, so I'm not super motivated to sack the house. Um, hmm. I think this is okay. It's insane, but, um, you know, I think it's fine. Let's unveil our bishop on this diagonal. Bring this out. The flaw is that they bring the silver forward, and I just don't have another move. But let's not worry about that for now. Um, so next. How do we make progress? Well, our bishop's blocked. It's going to get blocked again if I keep moving it. So let's push this. Yeah, so... Eh, it's just a bishop. No. We should make some effort to save it, though. Um, there. I tried to save my bishop. All right, we'll go back. That's cool. Alright, so... Probably need to do something about that. Spawn should have been way up here already. My mistake for not pushing that earlier. Take this. Oh, clever. Nicely done. Um, all right, but I don't want a knight. I want a silver. Can I have a silver? Yeah, we got a silver. All right, so... Yeah, this could have gone better. <laughs> uh... So, so, so much better. Um, well, the knight's stuck. Let's just repeat what we did already. Bring another silver up this way. What could possibly go wrong? I don't know. It would have been lighter to just use my existing gold and break up my castle. Wait, why this? Oh. 
There's a fork. I should look out for forks. I almost gave up my rook chasing this knight. That could have been bad. Alright, so we get a knight. Well, we get it now or we get it next turn. Let's take it next turn. Oh, they promote a bishop? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, let's just take the knight. This looks fun. Wait, oh, I've got a pawn on this file already. This looks less fun. Uh, it's still a target, but it's not the easiest target to hit anymore if I can't use a pawn. Um, hmm. Oh, tokens can take backwards, but they didn't see that. That's fine. Um, Go for Okay, I don't understand that. I understand now. All right. Um,
3分Imagine me listening to the voice of reason. Sounds unlikely. Sounds very unlikely. I think they're out of pieces. What does one do with so many silvers? Okay. It's a reasonable start. Hmm. No, I have to take no. Uh, this one. Oh, my checkmate did. I just walked into checkmate. They missed it. That's cool. That's irregular. Um. Hmm. Boom.
30秒。Oh boy. Well, that's three games for today. I know the first one was decided by a connection error, but I think that's all the tension we can reasonably stand in a single sitting. Um, yeah, wow. What a series. Uh, I'm not sure really. Maybe somewhere in here there was some combination they could have had. Well, they had the mate and one they missed. Uh, it was not my intent to offer mate and one. It's just complete oversight on my part but wow yeah uh this game can be exciting so uh hope you all enjoyed this <laughs> dollar story agra yeah <laughs> how about that we we built yagra the wrong way and survived so Hmm. That's right. You're supposed to have a silver at the head of the Yagra. We fixed it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, that was exciting. <laughs> yeah, that was all the excitement we could take right now. Yeah, snipe failed. Sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, we're experimenting with some of that stuff here first before we take that to the teaching ladder because that's uh, as entertaining as that was it's not ready for all these videos i've seen about hey look at all this like rapid yagra and here's this yagra and then most recently oh what was it um mornaka had done mentioned there's this Kim something Yagra, where you play your bishop back to 5-9. Um, but all of these shapes feature the silver prominently at the head. So I should do well to remember that. Um, yeah. I am a bit embarrassed by that game, honestly, the one I just played. Um... I'm debating, like, is that something we even want to put on YouTube? <laughs> I mean, the result does uh, indicate I've done something right. Hey, look, we got hashtag Yagra Castle. There we go. Spearing the bird, Yagra Castle. Gotta go collect all the things before we hit one down. <laughs> so, yeah, that was... Oh, man. I'm a... A bit emotional about this one. Um, and a bit surprised that the mate and one got missed. Unless I was just tripping and like imagined a mate and one that's not really there. Yeah, it was a decent comeback. <laughs> uh, uh, oh dear. Right, so where did oh oh I'm sorry I've got the board flipped 
That's why I don't recognize what's going on here. Let's try that again. Um, right, so my move order was ridiculous. Um, hmm. I'll have to study this more. Like, yeah, I recognize that the golds had to move here, but the silver tends, tends to move earlier than the golds, if I remember correctly. Even if you're doing this rapid thing, um... Hmm. Yeah, this gold move is just ridiculous. I should bring the silver forward. Since I have time to bring the silver up, retreat the bishop. Actually, wait, no, I did all of this wrong. Wow. Yeah, no, bishop up is not part of Yagra, even for this rapid strategy. Oh my goodness. Well, that's embarrassing. Yeah, usually the silver's the first one. So... I guess there's two ways I can get there, but this is my object. Um, then once that's up, you could drop the bishop back and the king through would be rapid. Or you could bring up the gold uh, and up the other gold and bring the bishop back and the king under. And that takes a couple moves to move the bishop. And Yeah, okay. I knew this. I just got excited. Do I know this? No. But I can say I know it. <laughs> yeah, not all the time. That's interesting, too. Ah, uh, well, at least you got one friends on here. Hooray. But yeah, I have to get ready for work. So.